fans, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be solving addition and subtraction equations with variables by using the inverse operation. Let's go ahead and get started. So to solve these equations, we're gonna be using the inverse operation. Now inverse sounds a lot like reverse. And I like to think of that because every operation has an opposite operation that basically cancels it out. So for example, if I were to take two steps forward plus two, the inverse reverse would be subtracting those two steps backwards, leaving me at just zero. For every operation, there is an inverse operation that is the opposite. Now let's dive into our first equation. First equation is x plus four equals seven. Now the goal is to get x all by itself. So step one, I'm gonna look at the original operation. We're doing addition. So now I need to think of what the inverse operation of addition is, which is subtraction. So that means this is plus four. I'm going to the inverse operation, which is minus four. Now, I need to do this on both sides of the equal sign. So because we did it on this side, we also need to do it on the other side of the equal sign. Now, this is just able to cancel out. This one, we actually solved for. Seven take away four equals three. I finally got X all by itself. So that means X equals three. So for this equation, I have three plus M equals eight. Remember, this variable can be any letter. So we went with M. So remember, this variable can be any letter, and no matter where it's at in the equation, I want to get it by itself. So first, what's the operation? This operation is addition. So that means these are together. I need to now find the inverse operation for addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. So if this is plus three, I'm going to minus three on both sides of the equal sign. Now I can cross this out. I solve for this one. Eight take away three equals five. So I got that M by itself, M equals five. That's our answer. Let's do a more complicated one. Okay, now I said more complicated. We're doing the exact same thing. The numbers just look a little more intense. So I have five eighths plus N equals seven eighths. Again, I wanna get the variable by itself. So step one, what is the operation is asking us? Addition. So I know that these go together plus five eighths. Now, I want to get rid of that to get the variable by itself. So I need the inverse operation, which is subtraction. So I'm going to take away five eighths on both sides. This leaves me with two eighths. So I have two eighths, which means I got N by itself. So N equals two eighths. And from here, I can simplify that two eighths can turn into one fourth because those are both divisible by two. And that's your answer. Let's do another one with decimals. So for our next question, I have a word problem. We are measuring three monster trucks. Bigfoot is 4.9 feet bigger than shockwave. We need to write an addition equation to be able to find the height of shockwave. So in order to make this an addition equation, I need to think of the unknown value. So I know shockwave is my unknown value. So I have x, I said I wanted an addition equation. I would also stated that Bigfoot was 4.9 feet bigger than shockwave. So I'm gonna add 4.9 feet, and that should equal the original height of Bigfoot, 15.4. So this is our addition equation. Now we're gonna have to solve. So our operation is addition meaning I need to do the inverse operation, which is the opposite, which is subtraction. So plus 0.49 minus 4.9 on both sides. This gets to cross out and this one we solve. So I need to borrow, I think that gives us five, bring down the decimal, zero, bring down the one. So we have 10.5, I got the X by itself, so I have X equals 10.5. And that is our answer. And that's our answer. So shockwave is 10.5 feet tall. Alrighty, so there's how to solve equations with variables using the inverse operation for addition subtraction. Next video will be multiplication division, so stay tuned. But if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.